<laughs> the we had just have to change everything over and um, clear up the table and get ready for the Facebook Live after the TV show. So we've been on Creating Craft this morning. Um, I so want to get back to the studios. Like I really, really do. I just want to be able to, like you know, just to go up, just to drive up there. I think it would be good. I love driving up to the studios because it's about two and a half two two and a half hours for me depending on traffic so well, sometimes it's three and a half hours but I enjoyed that time just the driving up and like you know I'm with my thoughts and like usually just listen to some music and it's just always a really great um day sort of just to go up and then come back down so I really do miss it so I'm hoping that I'll be able to go up soon and get back to the studios right today I want to do something different and <laughs> we have to thank Brenda because Brenda wanted these beads very, very much. I would put this necklace on, but and actually I'm going to put it on and um, move up. I still got my mic on from earlier this morning. So I wanted to make a necklace, which is a little bit longer. So I can wear it with dresses in the summer. So it just sort of comes down the bottom of my um, sort of bust. Because this is a longer necklace, I don't need a clasp on it. I can just put it over my head and just really easy to take off and to put on. Now the technique I'm gonna be showing you today is a wrapping, wrap around technique. And we're gonna be using copper wire. We're gonna be making a sort of our own eye pins and then we're going to join them together as we go along. I really I love this because when you're working with copper wire the wire is much softer than the um, if you're working with hat pins or eye pins so it's much easier to work with much easier on your hand but what you're creating the links are totally like secure there is no way you can pull this as far as much as you want the links are not going to come apart because of the way have you made them so if you got a bit more expensive beads at home or a more expensive like you know gemstones or more expensive crystals this is the technique you want to use because it's not going to break so good morning to everybody who joined us live um i hope you having a lovely wednesday it's so sunny out there <laughs> i got the blinds closed but you can see even the blinds closed the sun is coming through it was so cold they were frost in the cars this morning so i don't know i'm hoping later on it warms up a little bit and we can go for a lovely um walk now i have to say happy birthday to edward because it's his birthday today so happy birthday my lovely i hope you're having a fantastic um birthday today and uh, let's get uh, going with our demo. So I'm going to take you down to the mat. And I'm going to um, show you the technique one by one. So what we added to the website, I added three different kits for you. And I'm going to talk you through what's in each one of those kits and what you can make. I wanted to keep the cost down as much as I can. So I added the pendant with the six millimeter um beads so the rose quartz with the rose quartz beads the amazonite with the amazonite beads the um, amethyst with the amethyst beads but if you want to you can upgrade and add the eight mil in there just to add more texture the wire you got in the kit will be enough to make it then two necklaces so let's just go down to the mat and i'm gonna show you what uh we're gonna be making so let me just there we go there we go. So we're going to be making this really lovely necklace. I love these large pendants. Now, you can leave them just as pendants or you can take it even further and do sort of wire wrapping the thicker wire in your kit. So in the kit, there is a 0.8 millimeter wire, which is what you want to use for the pendants. You could also use the 0.8 for your for larger beads. And there is a 0.6, which we're actually going to use to wrap each one of these, to make each one of these links. And I'm just going to bring it in quite uh, close to you, make each one of these rings for you to, on the top, wrap it around to make a very secure jewellery. I love it. I really do love it because it's quite easy. It's a little bit more time consuming, just done turning loops. Actually, let me just pop this out of the way. But um, very a, a really good technique to have in the bank and to do. And you can do it with all sorts of different materials. 
Right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you very quickly, just pop you over to the website to show you what we have. Simon has given us a discount on there. So let me just move this screen. There we go. And I'm just gonna pop you over to the website very, very quickly. Now you know the drill. You know the drill what you you know the drill what you need to do. You go on the website, they just come up with all, all the program come up with all sorts of different uh, messages for me. And a bit distracted me, sorry. So you know what you do, you go into categories and then you go into video tutorials. Hold on, let me move this window down, just came in. Video tutorials, there we go. And then it comes up all the pages, what we've been doing over the last few days. Go into the gemstone necklace, what we're doing today, and there's three different kits in there for you. So there is the rose quartz, there is the amethyst, and there is the amazonite. I'm hoping, let me know which one you want me to demo. Do you want me to demo with rose quartz, amethyst, or amazonite? But I already got a rose quartz necklace here, so I like, I like to demo with the amazonite, but do let me know if you want me to demo with the amethyst, I'll do it. You, you know me, you tell me what to do, and I do it. So each one of those kits, I'm just going to pop into the Amazonite. So you're going to get a large um, a stone, which this is about 30 mil in, in, in size. A little bit faceted, but each one of them is going to be unique. Each one of them is going to be on their own. And then you get the 6 millimeter Amazonite strand. You also get... Uh, which is not on the picture, but you also get a reel of the 0.6 and a reel of the 0.8 wire. Now with the Amazonite, I put silver. With the... Uh, amethyst i put gold and with the rose gold i put rose gold um findings so the no, no, rose gold wire not sign you don't need findings because we're doing a large necklace we're doing a lariat style a longer necklace you don't need findings with this one and that's the beauty of this and then what i thought like in this necklace here what i got on my mat i have added the eight millimeter in there so you can add the eight millimeter amazonite and an extra nugget as as an extra to your kit and then you can make an extra necklace with it but these are i know these are a little bit more pricey but they are going to be your special necklaces for the summer and they they just look really really gorgeous right so let's have a look amethyst amazonite amazonite <laughs> amethyst amethyst amazonite amazonite amazon oh i think the amazonite is winning everybody's saying let me just show you some of them amazonite um sarah's saying amethyst carol's saying amethyst Judy saying Amazonite, 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 good morning, Amazonite, I think Amazonite is winning, I haven't have a all account up, but I can clearly see that Amazonite is, Amazonite is leaving, um, Amazonite is winning, uh, Lucy says, I don't, I don't mind which one you want to demo, <laughs> I love them all, Oh bless you, amethyst, amazonite. So let, let's let's do the amazonite then. So you get the six millimeter strand in your kit, and you get one of these really lovely little faceted nuggets. Now the eight millimeter is an add-on to your strand. So let me know if you want me to use it, the, or you just want me to stick with the kit itself. We're gonna be using eight millimeter silver wire for this one to wrap the pendant, and then we're gonna be using. 0.6 millimeter wire to do the little ropes. Everybody's saying Amazonite. Oh, you, you know me. I love Amazonite. And um, actually, if I put it next, this matches my top today. So I definitely have to do this necklace. It matches my top. Right, I'm going to zoom in so we can see it closer what I'm doing. Now, you're going to need a, a few, before I zoom in, you're going to need ran nose pliers, you're going to need cutters. I like to use flat nose and chain nose. The difference between this is the flat nose when there is wider, the chain nose when it goes into a point, but they're both flat um, inside when you shut them. So I love using those. There are also wire straighteners what you can use. They're not um, they're not needed. If you if you got them, use them because like they, they can straighten your wire nicely. If you haven't got them, you can just use your finger to rub 
on the length of the wire right so i'm going to start with the point eight i'm going to make my pendant first and then we're going to add the little wrapped loops to it so how to make a pendant like how to make a pendant out of a gemstone bead here now this gemstone bead had a top as a hole going from top all the way to the bottom i'm gonna get my 0.8 wire and i i like to work off the reel so i'm not um, gonna cut it right straight away i usually when i open the wire i get this very this first bit this little kinky bit i'm just gonna cut that off and discard it because how much i like this on a little inch how much ever i try to strength like straighten this up i won't be able to so you're gonna take your wire you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna pop your bead on there. Then, depending on how big loop you want to make on the top here, sometimes if I want to make a smaller one, I just use the widest part of my round nose plier. If I want to make something bigger, then just find another cylinder shape, like I got a pen here, and I am going to take the wire, leaving probably about an inch and a half tail here, and I'm gonna bend this over this pen. And what this is gonna create is just gonna create my perfect round loop for the top. Once I created this loop, I'm gonna take my, I like to, if you got your pliers with this sort of pliers, we just have like a nylon jaw, like it's a plastic coating on there. Then I like to use that for this one because I'm going to hold the whole of the loop just like that. I'm, I'm going to uh, slide this down for a second, just like that. But this is protecting the wire. If I go in with a chain nose and I grab on this really, really hard, I can mark the wire. So I'm be trying to be quite careful and I'm just going to hold this just there and I'm going to take my chain nose and I am going to, let me just actually zoom in for you so you can see it better. There we go. I'm going to take and hold my wire just there. I'm going to take my other, other. I'm going to grab the end with my other plier and I'm just going to wrap it around really nicely and tightly and neatly around the wire itself now i like to go around at least twice if not three times just like that once i went around enough i'm gonna go and take my cutters take the flash side of the cutters against my wire there and just cut just trim that little bit of a tail off before i go any further and this goes for every single loop i create I'm going to go in and I'm going to tuck in that end. So I'm just going to tuck down on that end. So it's kind of goes in with the coil itself. So I don't want to have any scratchy feeling when I'm wearing it around my neck. Now, if this is not perfectly round or if it's not the right shape, you can always go in with your pliers. You can pull it, you can push it, you can reshape it as much as you like. Now I'm going to bring my bead up. Now, sometimes if the gemstones have larger holes, these loops actually can disappear inside the top of the bead, which is just fine. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Now, I only need a couple of inches on the other side, so about five centimeters. So I'm going to cut my wire now. And I'm going to repeat the same process. Now, you can have on one side, you can have a larger loop. And on the other side, you can have a smaller loop. If you, it's really your designs. You are in, um, in control, I guess, what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead. I like to make similar size loops. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slightly tilt this to the side, um, bending my wire, forming my wire. I'm going to pop my pen back in there. And just bring the wire around just holding my pen just there just like that again i'm going to take this pen out i've got a nice loop there i'm going to hold on to this loop 
So I'm, I'm holding on not too tight. I'm not squeezing it too tight, but I'm definitely holding on to there. And I'm going to grab my other pliers, grab the end of the wire and just twist it around just like that. That's it. Again, I twist around two or three times. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to trim it as close as I can get to the wrapping itself. And I'm going to take my chain nose and I'm definitely going to go in. I'm going to bring this in closer to you. I'm going to go in and tuck the end in. So I got a really nice and secure bead there with loops on both sides. If the loops, when you make it, they tend to sort of not be on the same side, then just go in and just sort of move them around, just slightly twist it so they look nice and even. And that is there to it. There is nothing more to to make the pendant itself. And once we um going to get started with the beads, we're just going to replicate this technique, but on a smaller scale because we want smaller loops there um, all the way along. So... What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use, I'm going to use both of the sizes. I think a lot of people said, oh no, just use the six. And then some people said use the eight as well. I'm going to use both. I love them as a knight. This is one of my favorite stones. I don't know if it's the color or, you know, sometimes you can get a sort of a texture with gemstones as well. But some of them has got more lines in them, like, I, I really do love it. Now, I'm going to go down in size for this. So I'm going to use the 0.6 to make my loops. Let that put the 0.6. There we go. Again, as I opened my reel, can you see this last little kink? I just like to cut that one off. And the other reason why I like to cut this off as well, because often what happens when your wire is on the reel and this is sort of sitting inside that little cut often they put the sticker over the wire as well and then that sort of end is just a little bit sticky so i like to like to cut that off and discard that just one inch at the end and now i'm ready to start now of course you could do this technique with eye pins and we did it not that long ago with the really lovely I wanted to say the name really quickly. I'm brain dead. I'm, I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. Lava beads. That's it. We're doing with the lava beads and we're just curling them around. This technique is more secure. And of course, like your Amazonite, especially Amazonite is more expensive than lava beads. So you really want to be secure in with the jewelry and you don't, you want to create links which are wrapped together. So it doesn't matter how much I'm pulling this, this is not going to come apart. Bonnie is saying she would, she would use eye pins and head pins instead. It's personal preference. I like to do both of the techniques. In some cases, I would use eye pins and head pins. In other cases, I would, I would use my wire. Now, this one is non-tarnished wire. So if you do any jewelry, make sure you do use the non-tarnished wire because you don't want the color of the wire change later on once you have the jewelry made. So I often, what I do before I do anything, I make a pile of little wrapped eye pins for myself so i take my round nose pliers i'm gonna hold it you make a note i guess on your round nose plier even if it's just the mental notes make a note that where where, where the wire where are you forming your loops so i'm gonna form it in almost almost in the middle a little bit towards the bottom but almost in the middle so i'm gonna take and i'm gonna turn this end all the way around just like that so i just created like a little loop on the top and as you can either leave your wire in like this and start wrapping the end around because this is copper wire this is more pliable so it's easier to maneuver so i can even maneuver it with my hand just like that or i can grab with my pair of chain nose and wrap and keep pulling it around with the chains as well. So you can either leave your pliers in the loop there or you can remove this and you can hold it with your flat nose or with your, with your, I'm brain Nylon jaw. Nylon jaw, thank you, Simon. Simon just said a nylon jaw, but I'm brain dead this morning. <laughs> 
or with your flat nose you can hold it just like that and have you hold it hold held dependent and then bring and wrap this end in there. I'm only wrapping a couple of little loops there. I don't really want much. And then I'm gonna if there is anything left, I'm gonna go in and trim the end off. Let me just turn this around. I'm gonna trim this off just like that. I like to put my thumb on the top of my cutters when I'm cutting so I this little bit because it's only I don't know about two millimeters I don't want this to then fly off um, into my eye or anywhere in the room so I'm always putting my thumb over my cutter when I'm doing the final pressing together so before I go any further I'm gonna go and tuck that end in just like that and I'm going to straighten that out. I'm going to cut this. So I only want this probably about an inch and a half and pop it to the side. And I will just sit there and make these pins up as many as I can. Hmm. Simon Topov gave you Kitty's coffee. He did. He just did. I got up really early this morning, like six o'clock it was and it was like <laughs> I couldn't go to sleep I was so excited doing the TV last night I couldn't go to sleep such a long time so I was sort of just I don't know sitting there but doing the TV is really great fun I just want to be into the studios I want to go back in there it's just like it's not even just the show itself but it's someone can you shut the door please I think Simon, like the, the, in, in England, you got an expression, <laughs> were you born in a barn? And I always say, were you born in a cave? Because barns has doors and caves hasn't. <laughs> and he always, like, he goes out and just leaves the doors open. So I'm going to trim that little bit of an end. And then I'm going to tuck in. Right, let me just shut that door because I can hear that they're talking right out. Right, sorry about that. Why did why why is it always happens? <laughs> and they like leave the door open and then just like forget about themselves and they start talking right outside. So have I tucked my end in? Yeah, that's it. And then I'm gonna cut this and just pop it to the side. So even if like if you haven't got anything to make and you just got a free half an hour or a free evening. What you can do, and as you can see, I can make the wrapping even with my fingers because the wire is so nice and soft, it's so easy to apply. I'm just going to trim the end, just make a bit more off there. Again, I'm going to pop my thumb on there when I'm cutting, and then just go and tuck it in. It's really important. To tuck your end in because you don't want that scratchy feeling and then I'm gonna cut this off and that's it that's and I would make a whole a big big pile of these ones just to sort of sit on the side Right, so once I'm ready and I, and I made a big pile of these and I just want to start adding my beads. And I do like to add a little dangle to the bottom. And actually, let's make this little bottom bead. So I need to make a kind of like a head pin or something. You know, I've just sort of coiled the wire around it underneath it. So it will stop my bead falling off. I certainly does, doesn't don't want another eye, another hook on the bottom of this. Um, the Facebook on the, the picture on Facebook is terrible, also decamped to YouTube. Yeah, sometimes, or not sometimes, probably most of the time, like Facebook, depending on what the users or how many users they have on there, they do have, they do make, they degrade the picture down, and YouTube, not so much. So, 
That's why I always say sometimes you can you can have well, most of the time <laughs> you can have a better quality picture on YouTube done on Facebook, and that's why I'll be streaming to both both places. So I'm gonna make a little a kind of like a hat pin again with this wire. I'm not using anything today apart from this wire. I'm gonna grab the end of my wire with the tip of my round nose pliers here, and I'm just gonna turn this around. And once, when it's turned around, I'm going to keep going around just like that. I did probably about two coils on itself. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this. Again, I only want about an inch and a half. Yeah. And then you've got a couple of options. So I want to turn these loops, although if I wanted to I could leave those little loops at the bottom and they would just sort of hand there I would if I wanted to do that I would turn my pin 90 degrees on there so when I add the bead onto the top of it those little loops just sit at the bottom nicely and neatly they just sit there you can't really see them that much because they're quite tiny however what I like to do I like to turn this end sideways so I'm just going to take my chain nose and I'm going to turn this end just like that on itself. And as I'm turning, I'm slightly flattening these coilings together. Now, you can make knotted hat pins and all sorts of different things. But, <coughs> excuse me, but with that one, I think we need a different tutorial on that one because there's so many different styles you can do. Charlotte is saying, you make it look so easy, oh bless you. Right, so I got, I'm going to add my bead onto the top of this. So I just created a hat pin out of my wire. And I'm going to do the same thing again over here. I'm going to take my round nose pliers, make a mental note. It was about there where we we're creating the loops. It doesn't matter. So if you look at my sample here, actually, don't worry about too much. If your loops are not the same size, can you see that one is a little bit bigger? That one is a little bit smaller. It doesn't really matter because it's going to look all natural on your necklace. So I'm going to repeat the same thing what I did um, earlier with the pins. I'm going to bring this pin around. You only want probably about three millimeter, a very small gap, gap what you're going to wrap around. The larger you leave it, the more you have to wrap around and the longer your effectively charm is going to be because we're turning our beads into charms with our wire. So I'm going to take this down and then I'm going to grab my chain nose, grab the end of the wire and I'm just going to bring it around it just like that. Can you make sure you close the door please and go ahead. And then bringing it this around. Just like that. So I've wrapped it around about three times. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in and cut this end down just like that. And then I'm going to go, before I go any further, I'm going to tuck my end in. Now, if your loop is not central on the top and it's a little bit to the side, you can always go in with your round nose pliers and just centralize it. Just turn it a little bit and then you got a perfect little link. And we're going to repeat this for all the beads all the way along on our necklace. So I'm going to grab one of my eye pins that I created already. I'm going to pick up a six mil this time. And I'm going to turn it over. Now the one thing what you have to pay attention to when you're making these ones, the once you turn your loop and you made your link, you can't, you need a jump ring or something else to add them together. So in fact, when I'm making my next link, um, I just take in the wire and cross it over. In fact, before I wrap it around, I'm going to add this bead and I'm going to add it onto the loop I'm started to creating. I'm going to go ahead and take my pliers and I'm going to hold my loop just across just like that so I'm protecting the wire and I got a nice little space to work with 
and my charm at the end is just sort of dangling there. So I'm going to grab the end of this wire and just bring it around a couple of times, just wrap it around there to create that really secure point for me to work with, just like that. I'm going to, I sometimes properly wrap it maybe three times or if I just got a little wire left I might just keep on wrapping until I have got enough now I'm going to go ahead cut the end again just like that and then tuck it in and that's it I got two very secure links together you can't pull this apart it's going to be really secure so when you're working with gemstones you want to do it this way because definitely you're not going to use your necklace. Oh, Shantana, I hope I said your name right. Thank you so much for the stars. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, she's saying thank you for concluding this feature today. You are welcome. Thank you so much for showing up and watching us every single day because as long as you show up and watch us, we are gonna we are going to show up and show things to you now what happens if i want to connect this to my pendant and let's have the larger one no i want it that way i want this at the bottom because it's each pendant is slightly different because they're carving out from the stone and you can see i'm going to bring this up and show you you can see that it's a little bit fatter at the top and thinner at the bottom so i can either wear it that way or i can have it that way it's really it's up to me but I'm, i think i'm going to have the fatter bit at the bottom and this no, in fact, a bit at the top and then a bit at the bottom. So if I want to connect these two together, obviously I need to add either one of those loops when I'm making my link itself. And believe me, <laughs> so many times I sit down and I start to make a pin and I make the pin. I'm thinking, oh no, I forgot to add the loop. So if you want to connect them together, you're going to start, you're going to take your wire from the reel, you're going to take your round nose plier and you're going to start how you would normally start. You're going to turn this around just like that. And then before I wrap this around, I'm going to add the bottom of my chain, just what I created that on there. I'm going to go and take my pliers and I'm going to hold it horizontal, protecting my wire, grab the end with my other plier and then wrap this around just like that and keep going now when I have enough I'm gonna go and cut that off there we go tuck the end in just like that I'm quite religious by it, sort of tucking the ends in. I go back and do it all the time because I definitely don't want the scratchy end. Now I'm going to cut this. Again, you only need about an inch and a half. And I'm ready to connect this up with my pendant. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> add a bead on there. I'm going to start my loop with my round nose pliers. Just like that. And bring it around before I start my wrapping I'm gonna go and add the pendant onto it I'm gonna hold this wire nicely and neatly together and then I'm gonna wrap it with the other one very very easy technique and to be honest quite therapeutic as well and because you are using your copper wire because using a 0.6 millimeter copper wire it's really really pliable and very easy to manipulate the what what's the difference between this and hat pin eye pin so usually the base metal is different so the base metal underneath the silver is copper the base metal for a hat pin or an eye pin is usually either iron or brass now brass is really strong material and and much harder to turn it around and sort of ply it and make it into shapes and when you're doing single loops that's absolutely perfect because like you want them really nice and strong but when you're wrapping around if your wire is quite hard to mend around it's 
it, it will be hard on your hands. So I, that's why I love using the 0.6 wire for this because it's really nicely applied. And I'm just going to keep going along. So I added a little dangle at the bottom. I'm going to start at the top here and I'm going to add one bead to either side. Now I love doing what I did here is to add a smaller bead, larger bead, smaller bead. Now you don't just have to have one bead on your section, you can have larger sections as well. So um, let's do a section at the top on this one. So let's add one six millimeter bead and then we could add a section which is six mil, eight mil, six mil and then like because the less um, sections you add or, or bigger sections you add, the quicker you're going to make your necklace. Charlotte is saying, I have real problems with wrapping hat pins and use a looper. But this technique looks great. So I just had to take a sip of my coffee there. Yes, absolutely. It's because of the wire. It's much more pliable and much easier to work with. Right, I'm going to add this 6 mil onto the bottom here and then we're going to create some large links. So it's your designs. You could do whatever you like. Add as many beads into it as you want to. So I'm just going to add it and before I close it I'm going to add my pendant on there. Now I do like to sort of hold the working whatever I made up away from me. So the bead right in front of me is the one what I'm working off. It's sort of nicer and easier to wrap around it then. Um, but I think I can never get my loops that need going to have to spend a day just practicing. Do try with this wire with this 0.6 wire because it's much more pliable and much more easier to make your loops done with head pins and eye pins but yes practice makes perfect but I will show you <laughs> I will show you on the rose quartz necklace because even though I turned so many loops and been doing it for years like when you put it down and then you pick it up again it slightly goes off shape and then I'll show you on the necklace as I was progressing towards the top even I seen it on myself that the loops were getting more neater <laughs> there we go I'm just going to turn this around it doesn't really matter as I said you could still apply it with your hands I'm going to add this here as well because I want two points going up for my necklace i love it because you are creating a long necklace you don't need a clasp on there either i love lariat style necklaces and i'm gonna go and wrap this around here and a couple of times and then i'm going to trim the end just pull it nice and tight trim the end and wrap that the attack uh, that little tail in before I go any further so now I'm ready to add let's turn this around and now I'm ready to add another link in here now as I said instead of just adding one bead what I did on the rose quartz and I'm going to bring the rose quartz again we could add a bead a six mil eight mil six mil just have like a little bit of a pattern larger section in here and then you could go back and just add one small and then larger ones as well so in this case if you want to add a larger bead there you just need to make your starting eye pin what you're making a little bit bigger so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to turn this i'm going to wrap this around let's grab that plier bring the end in i'm going to actually hook on and hold on to it just like that. I find it easier to take the roundness pliers out of the loop and hold it, hold on to it horizontally. Tuck the end in. And I want this a little bit longer. So we were cutting it about an inch and a half. So I'm just going to cut it properly about two inch. Then I'm going to pick up the beads I want to pick up. In the order I want to pick them up. <laughs> Angela is saying, and this is so funny, the hardest part 
I found was remembering to attach the other end. Angela, I did it last night. I did when I was making up the santo, I did it a few times as well. I do it all the time. But if you forget to attach the other ends, there is nothing wasted because you can always use the link further up. So I got my pattern on there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this loop as well. And before I start the looping, I'm gonna add my necklace on. I love starting in the middle by the pendant, but if you want to, you can start on one end and do however you see fit, however you want to progress. And I'm just gonna wrap this around one more time and then cut and tuck my end in and I'm going to repeat it for the other side so you can see our pattern is going to be it can be all sorts of different things but you could make this as big as you want you don't just have to be three beads you could have we could have let's have a single section on the top and then we could do five beads we could do further up we could do whatever we like so I'm going to make another one to match on this side and this is why I like to start in the middle because then I'm doing the same to both sides I am a very symmetric person, so I can do asymmetric jewelry, but it goes against my brain, I guess, sometimes. I really need to pay attention that I'm not picking my beads up in an order, or I'm not picking up in a particular shapes, or, you know, I really need to pay attention when I'm doing asymmetric jewelry. I'm just going to wrap this around. Just like that. Trim that little end. Oh, Charlotte is saying she's just loving this so much. It's so easy to do, Charlotte, and you can make really nice jewelry. And what I love about it is that it's very secure. So once you wrap your loops, and we need a little bit longer, once you wrap loops, as much as you're trying to pull this apart, this is not going to come apart. That's a very secure. And then when we have gemstone beads, and gemstone beads, like they reflect the, the, the price, they're more expensive. It's really nice to do a technique like this that you be sure that that necklace is not going to break. And especially if you make it for a present or if you sell your jewellery, you definitely want to perfect this technique. Now I'm going to do the other side. Before I wrap it around, I'm going to add this on. Just like that. I'm going to grab again that loop and take my other pliers and wrap it around this side. Doesn't matter if your loops are not exactly the same size, it's still gonna look nice, very nice and natural. Because I'm not introducing, and I'll tell you what it is actually, because I'm not introducing an eye pin, uh, a jump ring um, connecting my eye pins up, because if I introduced, for example, a six millimeter jump ring, that jump ring would be the same size in between every loop. And that would then give my eyes a sort of a size, an equal size in every connection. But because I'm not introducing a jump ring, it doesn't really matter. My, see, I can see those ones. Can you see that one is a little bit bigger and that one is a little bit smaller? But overall, you can't really see it. So I, I really do love it. You, you, there is a lot of give and take in this technique. Lucy is saying it's gorgeous. I'm going to try and learn this. Very special make. Definitely. And as you know, gemstone beads. I love gemstone beads. Amazonite is my favorite, if you didn't know. Um, I love I, I love the color. I love the texture. I love like some of them's got a little bit more white bits in it. Some of them is a little bit darker. Like even between two pendants, they are not the same. So this one is maybe a little bit more plainer. There's a couple of bits in there. This one, there's more things going on. So when you get your kit, we just pick them randomly as they come off the as they come out of the box. But each one of them is going to be very different. Right, I'm gonna do a couple of small ones here, just just a six mil on its own, and then we do a larger section, and then I'm gonna let you go. I know you know I could waffle on all day here, but um. I know 
people got things to do. And they don't, don't, don't just want to sit there. See, you can wrap either way. So when you're doing your wrapping, you can either wrap away from yourself or towards yourself. They're both correct. Work out what works the most comfortable for you, how you can get the neatest wraps, and don't be afraid to change your direction. I do it all the time, and I do it for uh, actually two reasons. One is when I change my direction, I change sort of the position of my hands as well, so my muscles don't get tired so much. And it's just always good to sort of experiment with different ways. I'm just going to make another one for here. Do you get both sizes in the kit? So in the kit, you will get the six millimeter beads and the one pendant. And you get the two sizes of the wires. Now, if you want it to have the eight millimeter in, in there, it's an option in the kit. You can add it onto the top. But how I did it, it doesn't just add an 8mm bead, it adds another pendant as well. Because then you will definitely will be happy enough to make two long necklaces with it. You can use some of the 8mm wire to do the, your larger beads. So you could have like a little bit of a dif in difference in there. Just tuck that in. Cutters, and then I'm off. I go. I'm adding to six mil on here, and the next section we're gonna make it bigger, and it grows quite quickly. So if you want to leave it with small sections, then you can. If you want to have larger sections, then you could do that as well. So before I wrap it, I'm just gonna add it onto here and hold this. Maybe that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go and just wrap it down a little bit more, just turn it a little bit more. You can always tweak it because it's a very ply pliable, pliable, pliable is the word, very pliable, the wire. You can always mold it more and more. And just wrap it around a couple of times. I'm going to cut the end with the flesh side of my cutters. Just like that, just going in, and then I'm going to tuck the end in. Always be sure to tuck the end in, so you don't get that scratchy feeling. There we go, I'm going to add another one to the other side. Oh, shout out to saying, can't wait to get my kids. Oh, bless you, they are really... Gemstones are really nice to work with. They, they, they always special, and... I love them. I don't get to work with them as much as I like to, but um, they are they they are really nice material to work with. I do really love it. It's something about them that when you touch them, like they are always a little bit cooler to the touch, and they I know like a lot of people like different loads of different stones, but for me, when I touch the stone itself, it just it is such such different feeling than when you are touching glass or any other material. I just really do love it. And I'm just gonna tuck that end in, and let's just create. So let me know what would how many shall we add? Shall we add three beads on our last link, or shall we add five? We could do we could do three large one and a couple of small ones. I do like to add a six mil at the end and the beginning so we have got like a bit of a bit of a tapering up and down the size if i'm using more than one or we could go even we could take that middle one out and add another six mil that would be a nice pattern as well maybe that actually looks quite nice we could do all sorts of things oh everybody there you're saying three charlotte is saying five well, I, 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 I can't say like let's have three on one side and five on the other, but I'm not I'm not big in asymmetric jewelry. Looks like a rosary to me. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit rosary style, I guess. Um, but it's I, I love it. I think, you know, if you wanted to make a rosary, you could. But with adding the different sizes in, I guess. 
three beads. Everybody's saying three beads. More, more people are saying three beads. So let's go with three beads. So I'm going to repeat that link what I had there. And um, and that's it. And all the way along, all I go. And at the back, when you get to the back, all you do is instead of, like, you do the same thing. Yeah, my hair has got caught in it. The, all that you do the same thing, what you did when you were adding the pendant, you have to put the pin like into the loop even before you added the bead and then you add the other side as well and that's all there is to it if you have <laughs> if you have any question please put a question in um in front of your in front of your question so i can very easily identify it or even if you just put a cue in front of that then i can have a look at those amazonite out of stock is there any more please like let me just have a look on the website what's gone out of stock on that one is the eight millimeter beads i and the six millimeter beads um i'm simon is um lucy can you give a text to simon to check because he left to go to the warehouse but um he's, he's not here anymore he was here in the morning helping me so if you could just um check if you just check with simon to check the physical stock on the shelf because there was quite a few strings quite a few strings of the amazonite and you get the six millimeter so in your kit you will get the six millimeter strand and you get one of these pendants however it's an option to add on the eight millimeter strand and another pendant and then you can make two necklaces out of your kit i'm definitely gonna finish this one i might even start another one if you wanted to you could even have like i only got rose quartz here but you could have three pendants in a necklace as well so instead of just having one in the middle you could have one at the bottom and two on the side going up I kind of like less is more, so I, I would just use one at the bottom and make it really nice and long. But um, it's really a sub to you could do all sorts of different things with it. How do we get the 8mm? So the 8mm is on the bottom. Let me just pop you to the website and I show you it is a option on within the kit itself. So in the kits you get 15% off today. So this is the Amazonite. Let's go back and have a look at the Amethyst. If I go into the Amethyst, so the Amethyst, you get the six meter string and you get the nugget and you get the two uh, gold color wire in there. And when you go down here, there is your price. It's showing that there is 15% off of it. There is this little thick, what you can take. So if I tick this little circle here, then it's gonna add an eight millimeter string and an extra nugget. And it tells you the price, how much is it going to be? To my order so then you can make two necklaces with it so you just have to take that one and when I add to this my bag if I add this to my bag it will add it with the price of the eight millimeter as well hold on let me <laughs> how do I remove this now no let me, I, I'll do it later so that's that's that little tick that's what you need to tick um, on and off on there oops Sorry, press, press the wrong button and the lovely picture just came up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Back, back, back to them. So that's it, really. Um, show the purple stone piece. Of course, I can show you. So this is the Amazonite. <laughs> this is the Amazonite. So you've seen the rose quartz. Before, because I made the sample in the rose quartz. And let me show you the amethyst as well. And the amethyst, I added purple. So there is the six mil amethyst. So these pendants, some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit smaller. The rose quartz itself, like, you know, that's a little bit bigger than the next one to it is a little bit smaller. We haven't really got control over it that much because it's just really what um i suppose comes out from them and this is the amethyst and um, the amethyst in shape as well is a little bit different so when you see the cuts this one is a little bit more of an opal shape and this one is more of a square shape but again then i get the next one it's 
a little bit more overshare. If you haven't got um, any control over this, this is just how they come come off the strands. So you get the six mil and you get one of those. Um, lovely. I love it. It's just so nice, those beads. You get one of those beads with the gold wire itself so that you get your point six and your point eight. I think that's just going to look so rich and gorgeous. And then if you want to do the upgrade, then you can have the eight millimeter and an extra pendant and then you can make more than one necklace with it. It's I, I love it. I really I love them. I love them all. I'm probably gonna end up end up making one of each because in the summer when I'm wearing like sort of lower tops and when I'm wearing like just like a tank top, I really love wearing these necklaces. I'm not much of a very much of a necklace person. A lot of the time I don't like anything up again my necks, but these ones and I'm gonna pop this one back on. Actually, I can take forgot to take this mic off let's just take let's just take this mic off so we can't see it i'm gonna pop the rose quartz one on for you and let's change the camera as well let's go to this one i'm gonna pop the rose quartz one on for you and can you see the how much is this sort of hangs down you can see my messy room i need to tidy up after the show and it's, that is just gonna sit there that's that's always gonna be that's just gonna sit there and um and it's a, it's a really nice length. I don't, you could make it a little bit longer if you want to, but what I find if I make it too long, whenever I'm like bending over or eating or doing something, then the beads are constantly going onto the table. So I just like, I like to have it just this length. So just sort of, but underneath my bosoms, that really, a really nice, a really nice little technique to have right why am i on this camera when i want to be <laughs> yeah there we go so that's it that's how easy it's to make and as you can see i can take it off and put it back on very easily i love it you don't need any clasp all you need is just wire and then you are away and the three colors we have we got rose quartz which is pink we got the purple with the gold rose quartz with rose gold <laughs> um wire purple with gold wire and the amazonite with silver i'm gonna go and finish the amazonite necklace because it definitely i i'm i that's not gonna go so sometimes when i make these samples simon simon takes them back to the warehouse <laughs> but this one is definitely not gonna go back this one is gonna stay in my jewelry box uh victor is saying amazon amazonite for me as well yeah i love amazonite and look that just goes with my top today very well so I definitely need to finish this one. I need to go go and sit. I'm going to go and get some breakfast. And I need to go and sit and finish that necklace. Right, everybody. Um, I am not back until sunday i'm back on sunday so tomorrow and friday i'm in the beat club so those of you ladies who are in the beat club then i'll see you tomorrow on friday if you're not in a beat club do check the beat club out because you have so much fun it's a class over zoom so what i love about it that if you get stuck or if you got a question you can just hold it up to the camera and say help what do i do and then I can tell you like, you know, push to that to the right or push that to the left. And it's a really nice like-minded people in the class itself as well. So do check it out. Lucy's going to pop the link at the bottom. And otherwise, I'll be back on Sunday. I will be doing a creation station on my channel on Saturday night. If you want to join me, that's just, we start, a, I'm going to start at seven o'clock um, Saturday night and we're just going to beat. I don't know what we're going to be doing. Um, I do need to set some stuff into resin. So I might be doing that. I'm not quite sure that um, we end up doing all sorts of different things because we just create together. Just having a nice little evening together. So if you are interested, then you can find me on my channel on Saturday. Otherwise, be back on Sunday morning um, with a lovely Sunday beater. And... Um, and then the cycle, the week starts again. Right, everybody, have a great day, whatever you are. Um, thank you so much for the stars. Um, was it Charlotte? Oh, Charlotte sent, uh, is it Charlotte? Sent us some stars. Yes, yeah, Charlotte sent, sent us some stars. And all of you sent us some stars as well. Um, saying, have a great day, everyone. Thanks for another fab demo, Kitty. You are very welcome. Thank you for showing up and watching me um that are watching us not just me um day by day um really really appreciate it right everybody have a lovely day 
and I will see you very soon.